Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pat Flynn from smartpassiveincome.com and I'm really happy you're here today because I have the recording of my presentation from New Media Expo in Las Vegas from January of 2013 all ready for you. And my presentation was all about the power of using free in your business to get more traffic, subscribers, and customers. Now I wanted to explain something really quick, uh, something you're gonna see at the beginning of the video. You're gonna see me walking around the crowd holding these two containers. What I'm doing is actually I'm offering people uh, some free chocolate. In one container, I have lint chocolate truffles. In the other container, I have Hershey's Kisses. And what I'm actually doing is actually only allowing people to choose one of those two chocolates. So which one would you choose? Now think about that. It actually plays a role in the middle of my presentation, which you'll see soon. Now I actually have a resource page you can go to with uh, a bunch of links that I mentioned during the presentation. You can go to smartpassiveincome.com slash NMX to get that along with a playlist of songs that I'm playing as people walk in, uh, which you'll see what that's all about there. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoy this presentation. I appreciate you. Thank you all for coming. Um, thank you all, especially those of you who came to the uh, podcast awards last night, and especially for those of you who nominated me. I did not win, unfortunately, um, but I mean, I lost to ESPN fantasy football. I mean, how am I going to compete with that? <laughs> but just to be next to them and just to know that you guys are so supportive, I mean, that means the world to me. Thank you so much, and uh, you guys are ready to get started? Yeah. All right. things are pretty, I mean, people gravitate toward free things. People will do crazy things just to get something for free. I mean, you've probably all seen this before. People standing in line three and a half hours for a Denny's Grand Slam. This line is actually a line at, uh, in, in DC for one single cupcake. It goes up the block, across the crosswalk, and back down. There's people taking pictures of how long that line is. <laughs> Yeah, this guy painted his face like a cow so he can get a free chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A. It's awesome. But we're not just talking about food here either, and I know I already gave you guys some. And 
you know, I apologize, it's laced with something uh, to make you love me. It's called chocolate. <laughs> we're not just talking about food either. We're talking about things like this guy. He kept his hand on this car for 72 hours straight to win this vehicle. That's as long as New Media, New Media Expo was. It's like, how, how do you sleep? Like that, apparently. <laughs> how do you pee? But I didn't have a slide for the pee. <laughs> Free is powerful. It moves people, sometimes in mass. It's ridiculous. Just, we're kind of trained when we're kids to just gravitate toward free. I mean, imagine a pinata exploding and just kids going buck wild on the candy. They don't even care what candy it is. They just want to grab as much as possible. Free is so attractive and so magnetic, we should all be using free. Not just your content, though. Yes, our, free, our content is free, but I'm talking about stuff that's beyond your content. We'll talk about why in a second. Unlike cupcakes or grand slams or even a car, what we can give away as people who do business online and have blogs, that stuff can be replicated, duplicated. It can work for us over and over again. Once someone eats the cupcake, the cupcake is gone. But our thing that we can give away for free will be there forever and continue to work for us. You just got to put up the time up front. That's the only thing you're investing in this. There's a little bit of time to figure out exactly what your target audience wants, what they need to get there, and introducing free as an indirect route to earnings. But there's an issue with free. You know, a lot of people have issues with free. A lot of people are scared of giving things away for free. You might say, oh, Pat, why would I want to give something away for free when you know, I've worked so hard on it? It provides value. People are offering to pay for it. Why, why would I want to give something away for free? They might also say, well, Pat, I don't want to give any way, I, I don't want to give anything away for free because it's just going to devalue my brand. I don't want to do that. I want people just to come to me. I don't want to train them to get stuff for free. Or they may, have, they may have used free before, and you may have used free before, and it just didn't do the job for you. So my goal here is actually to help you understand free and how we as content providers online can utilize free and just get crazy results. And I have a lot of great examples for you. So we have our platform, our blog, podcast, or whatever it is. And of course, we, get, we want traffic coming to it. And you know, there's various forms of uh, getting traffic to your site. You know, the Be Everywhere concept, you know, not just being on your blog, but on your podcast and on YouTube as well. Guest posting, I mean, there's so many ways to get traffic to your site. But what do you do with that traffic? A lot of people, they just end there. And their goal is just to get people on their site. But what happens then? I put earnings up here. That word specifically because I wanted to show that you kind of have to work for this. You know, it's not just going to happen overnight. And if you want to get paid for what you do online, you're going to have to work for it and understand exactly what your audience needs. Now, this is typical, you know, platform to traffic to earnings. But what I'm introducing is free. Your traffic will be more in tune because we know that free works. It would magnetize them, pull them in, allow you to create deeper connections with them, and then it would make it easier to earn. Free does not mean profitless. Free is an indirect path to revenue. So there's this guy named Dan Ariely. He's the professor of behavioral economics at Duke University. And he really wanted to figure out why free works so well. So he conducted an experiment. He wanted to know why does free work. And so he took a Lindor lint truffle, lint, L-I-N-D-T, not like what you find in your pocket or just a random fact, like I always find lint between the fingers of my baby after I, like, we swaddle her. Like, where does that come from? <laughs> so a lint chocolate and a Hershey's Kiss. And so he set up a table uh, in Duke University you know, to these college kids, and he was going to sell them. So he was going to sell the truffles for 15 cents and the kiss for one cent. So what happened? 73% of the customers bought the truffle for 15 cents. 27% of the people got the Hershey's Kiss. And that makes sense. The truffle's a lot better. I mean, the difference in value, which is 14 cents here, is made up from the difference in quality of the chocolate. I mean, how many of you picked up the truffle when I came around? A lot of you. Now, what would have happened if I had asked you to pay for that truffle instead? Well, I'll show you. You just decrease the price by each by one cent only. The difference in price is exactly the same, except the Hershey's Kisses are just free. Now what happens? The chocolates are exactly the same. The quality is exactly the same. Only 30% of the people got the truffles, and 70% of the people picked up a Hershey's Kiss. Interesting. 
just introducing free gets people to behave a little bit differently. Now, this happens for a couple of reasons. One, I mean, just the, fa just the transaction experience of actually paying for something takes a little bit of work. So in your businesses, if you have something that people will pay for, you, know, you might want to think about their exact experience from when they are introduced to that product to when they actually pay for it. You know, decreasing the number of steps it takes to purchase something is going to help out with your conversion rates very much. But more importantly, Dan Ariely figured out that really it's human nature. You know, when, we have, when we make any sort of transaction, you know, there, there's an upside right, and a downside. The upside is you get something, and the downside is you pay for it. You're losing money. But when something is free, there's no downside. We hate to lose things. It's human nature to hate to lose things. And so there's this thing called the penny gap. Right? The, 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 the demand price ratio is you know, pretty linear. The, the more expensive something is, the less demand there's going to be. The less expensive something is, the more demand there is. It's pretty linear, except right there at the top where it says free. It just shoots up like crazy. So this shows us, yeah, free is a great way to reach a lot of people. But a lot of people don't like the penny gap because it's very difficult to get people from, pay, from free to paid. That's why a lot of software companies have trouble with giving stuff away for free, especially because it takes resources and, and, and money to keep you know, those people who are using their services for free uh, going. So we have a dilemma here as content providers. Do we go with free stuff? Do we offer stuff for free knowing that a lot of people are going to gravitate, gravitate towards us? We're going to reach more people. But it might be a little more difficult to convert them into something paid later. You know, again, training people to receive stuff for free. Or do we just scratch free? We forget about the people that we would never reach uh, because we're only going to be offering stuff for, for uh, you know, beyond our content, we would only be offering stuff that is paid. I say we can do both. Us, specifically, all of us here, we could do both. We can actually close this penny gap. We can take this line and move it up here. We can close the penny gap. What does that mean? That means that we can get more people who, re who digest our stuff for free to convert into something paid. Now, how does this happen exactly? Here are the advantages of using free for us specifically. And I'm going to preface this by saying free is not the business model. I mean, this is really important here. You know, we've been talking about free stuff, and, I, and I'll get into later exactly what those free things are. But free is not a business model. If, if you just give stuff away for free and that's it, then there's no, I mean, how can they pay you back? You, know, you always have to offer something. You always have to have the free whatever it is purposefully lead to something else. And that doesn't have to be earnings. It could be reputation, authority, social proof. Free is not a business model. Free is incentive for your business model. So I hope you have a business model. And the really important thing here is just to, there's, there's a few things you have to realize before you know, th this free stuff not very many people talk about or, or have like done this much research on it for specifically bloggers and content providers. This was actually a really difficult presentation for me to just kind of figure out how to really break this down for you. Number one, you need to understand who your audience is. Who is your audience? That's the most important thing to understand. Number two, what is it that you want them to achieve? Or what are they, what are they looking, what's the ultimate goal for those people who come to your site? I ask this question to a lot of people and they don't know the answer. So just ask yourself that question. What do, I want, what do I really want people to do when they come to my site? What's the ultimate goal for them? Figure that out. Once you do, you can understand what products, services, information, anything to help them get there. You know, this is going back to my affiliate marketing talk, affiliate, uh, affiliate marketing in a smart way. It doesn't start with the products. You know, if you're going to go into affiliate marketing, don't go like, oh, this is an attractive product. I'm going to see if my audience likes it. Start with your audience and what their goal is and see what products would help them get there. Whether that product is free, whether that product is paid for, whether it's something that you create or someone else creates, that should not matter because your goal is to help them achieve something. So make sure that you're giving them a way to pay you back. That's, that's really what it comes down to. A lot of people give stuff away for free and then they get a lot of traffic, but they, never, they don't have a way to monetize. They don't, they, they, there's no earning capabilities. So this is, this is the graph we saw earlier, intro, introducing free into the, uh, the equation as an indirect method of earnings. So the first reason why this is awesome for us to give away free stuff is because of the number of connections we can make. It is our job as content providers, if you feel like you have something to say, your job is to get it in front of as many people as possible. And yes, there are people who are going to read your blog, but there's some people who are just, they're just readers. Right? They never take action with you. The more you can connect with them, 
the more they're actually going to benefit from what you have to offer. And you'll be able to make more connections with people that way. Actually, like, I feel like when people read our sites, that, that's not really a connection. Like I'm talking about something more. The second thing is shareability. You know, free stuff gets shared, especially if it's awesome. When you create something amazing, it's going to be shared, especially if it's really helpful. And what happens is a couple things. One, people just share it because they loved it. And that, I mean, people just automatically share stuff without thinking anymore, right? It's awesome. I'll click the tweet button, whatever. But also, they will feel empowered to provide whatever it is that you have to offer for free for their audience. Like, check out this thing I found. It's awesome. It's going to help amazing. It's, it's, it's going to help them, the, the people who share it. It's going to help you because it's you, you're the one who created it. You're going to get more traffic coming to your site that way. And of course, if you have paid stuff, you don't want that stuff to be shared for free, right? Oh, going back to shareability. Two tips when, uh, with your free item. Again, we're going to get into exactly what those things are in just a second. But two tips with sharing. Number one, with whatever. I mean, the, even this is like blog posts or, or any free reports or video courses or whatever. Number one tip. Make it easy. People are lazy online. They want the easy way to do things. So just at the end of your ebook report or the end of your whatever, make it really easy. One click. There's a reason why Amazon was trying really hard to patent that one click purchase thing, which I don't think that worked out for them. But I still use the one click because it's super easy. The number two tip is ask. If they've made it to the end of whatever it is you have to offer, again, this is something beyond just your content, they're a hot, they're, they're hot. I mean, not like hot, hot, but like they're, they're, they're just engaged with you. They've made it all the way to the end. And then that allows you to just, tell, just ask them to do something. Like, what's next? What do I do next? Oh, here. Please share. Just ask. A lot of us don't ask, and we feel bad asking. But if they're involved with you that much, you should ask. They want to help you out. So next, we're going to talk about the mini transaction. Now, what is that? The mini transaction, it's like, have you ever watched the movie Hitch? Hitch with Will Smith, he's like a, a matchmaker dude. And he, he has clients who are trying to like, hook up with girls. Uh, he has one client who's going on a first date with a woman. And uh, he's asking Will Smith for tips on, on how to kiss. Right, so he, he created this thing called the 1090, meaning if you're going in for a kiss, this is for men. If you're going in for a kiss, you go in 90%. You go in 90%. And you have the woman come at you 10. You don't go 100% because you're going to get slapped in the face. And you don't go too far back because they're going to feel like, you know, I, I thought you wanted to kiss me. You can tweet that. <laughs> but the 1090, like you're doing all the work here. You're providing all the free stuff. You are just setting everything up. But there's that little mini action that's just beyond reading that's going to set them up and you're going to get a deeper connection with them with them now a lot of people are afraid like i said earlier about training your audience to get stuff for free and that's a legitimate concern but what i think you're doing here is you're training your audience to, to go deeper with you to take actions these are free actions but when you try to get them on something that would help you with earnings or reputation they're going to they're going to be used to that and want to do that for you next is trust like we said, more people are going to find us. More people are going to see what we have to offer. And again, this is just beyond what you have to offer uh, just on your blog as content. People are going to see what you have to offer. They're going to understand your capabilities. And they're going to see you as an expert more than if they were just reading your content. They're... It's funny. I gave away uh, eBooks the smart way. How many of you have downloaded eBooks the smart way? Wow, you guys are awesome. Thank you. A lot of people saw that. And you know, it was, it was free, um, but a lot of people asked, you know, why did you give this away for free? I would have totally paid for this. The money is not, not my goal there. The, the money was to earn trust with people and show them that I can create stuff that's amazing. And they saw that, and they're like, wow, if, if this is free, like, I wonder what something paid for would be like. And you can, I mean, they just fall in deeper love with you uh, like that. So reciprocation, this one's a big one. Because it's human nature to want to give back when you get something. You know, that's why I gave you chocolates in the beginning. Because I hope you leave great reviews for this. No, I'm just kidding. Funny story. When I wrote my ebook for greenexamacademy.com, which is a site that I have that teaches people how to pass the lead exam, uh, a little exam in the architecture niche, it was, it was really interesting because I had 
that site was available for free. The, all the information to pass the exam was there for free for a year and a half already. I didn't monetize yet. And after a year and a half, you know, I helped a number of people pass the exam with all that free information. I come out with the ebook. It sells really well. I get a number of emails from people who said, Pat, I didn't need the ebook. I already passed the exam. But you know what? You helped me out so much, I'm just going to pay for your book anyway. That's, how all, that's, that's the kind of relationship that you want to have with people. That's how much you really want to help them. I mean, is your free, I mean, a lot of you are offering free stuff already on your site. Is it really going to, are, are people going to do that? Are people going to go out of their way to pay you back for what you have to offer? You should. Is, uh, is Anthony here? Anthony, real man, real style. What's up, Anthony? I have to thank you. You know, uh, Anthony downloaded my ebook and he created an ebook of his own, correct? And it was downloaded how many times? It was downloaded 75,000 times. This is Anthony from realmenrealstyle.com. And that was awesome. I mean, just to know that I, I provided something for free that, to him that helped him out and reach 75,000 people uh, for his site. But what was really cool was that he, like, he wanted to pay me back. So what did he do? He's actually, he, he actually created this 25-minute like, video just for me. Like, he teaches men how to dress, right? And he created this video for me because he knew I was going to do my first presentation. Uh, this was 2011 at, at FinCon. Um, he, was, he knew I was doing my first presentation. He's like, you know what, for you, because you've helped me out so much, I'm going to create this video for you. And it was a 25-minute video all about the types of styles and, and clothing that would look best on me, <laughs> on my sort of like stature. And it taught me so much. I mean, right? I mean. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, so you can see, I mean, people just paying each other back, doing kind things to each other. That's kind of what you want to happen. I mean, we're, we're, we're getting away from this age of, of brands and being faceless. Excuse me. I'm not foreign to technical difficulties in my presentation, so. <laughs> I'll be here all day. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting away from this kind of, you know, cr I remember when I first created a website, I wanted to be, I wanted to look like a, a corporation. I wanted to be a huge comp, like pretend I was a huge company. I created business cards with a super awesome logo. It was Jeremy Franson from Internet Business Mastery who told me one day, you know, just be you. Be you on your website. And that's when you saw a lot of me come out of my website, a lot of information about my family and being uh, like a real person. And Chris said this in his presentation, you know, it's, it's not B2C anymore or B2B. It's P2P. Person to person. People to people. That's, what's, that's where everything's trending. So thank you, Chris, for that. I love that. Number six, this is something sort of new. By using stuff, by giving stuff away for free, you're actually going to get higher quality leads. The thing is, a lot of people are afraid of freeloaders. Like you just create something awesome, people use it, and then they don't, get, they don't pay you back. Well, fine. I'm not losing anything because I created this already, and it's not like, it's not like a cupcake where, I, oh man, you didn't pay me back, I have to make more. No. You get, you get to duplicate and replicate and, and share. Brian Clark did a, uh, Brian Clark from Clappy Blogger, I remember, he gave away a free book called Authority Rules. And it was no opt-in, you know, you just download it for free. And he talked about why he did this. And in kind of the summary post of what happened, you know, thousands and thousands of people downloaded it. And then at the end of the book, he actually, that's where he asked people to subscribe. It wasn't before they got the book, it was after. And what happened, he got, you know, if people go through your free stuff and they're still with you and they want more, they're gonna be much higher quality leads. And you know they're gonna wanna work with you more, whether you are gonna take them on as clients, whether you're gonna sell them something else, or whether you're just gonna ask them to share something. Whatever that transaction may be, it's going to be much stronger when you reach the end of whatever it is that you have to give away for free. They're going to understand you that more. They're going to trust you much more. They're going to want to reciprocate. You're going to get higher quality leads like that. Free is a freeloader weeder, is what I like to say. Okay, so let's talk about the types of free. This, you know, all this stuff so far is just informational. This, this is how people have implemented this. this is, I mean, I kind of wanted to get here much faster, but whatever. So ty types of free, I've broken this down into five different sections for you. The first one is called the lead magnet, and this is the one that a lot of us typically see. We offer something for free, 
where somebody offers something for free in exchange for an email address or something like that. And like I mentioned earlier, we have eBooks the Smart Way, which is on the sidebar of my site there, as you can see. And it's been downloaded, I should update that, it's been downloaded 40,000 times. That's 40,000 people who have, set, who, who have made deeper connections with, who have seen the quality of the work that I can do. I've actually had a lot of people subscribe just to get this book, and then they unsubscribe, and then they read the book, and they resubscribe because they're like, dang, that was awesome. <laughs> so those of you who are worried about getting people just to, on your, on your uh, list for free and then unsubscribing just to pick up whatever it is that you have to offer, it's your job to make them come back. Chris, this is Chris Stocker's, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be ebook. Typically we see an ebook or, or a free report or something like that. It doesn't have to be that. It can be like a video series or a course even. So Chris has this little uh, Halpern header, uh, I guess that's the term now, uh, up here at the top where you can enter your name and email and it, then he sends you uh, links to video courses to help you with your business. And this is great. It doesn't have to be video, it doesn't have to be uh, ebooks or video. It can be stuff that's actually useful to help people reach a goal. Like uh, this, this is like a site from the 1990s, it looks like. But this offers 110 free PMP exam sample question. That's a project management prep test. Uh, and you can see here, it's kind of hard to read, but there's over 38,000 subscribers who have signed up for free questions. And yeah, a lot of those people are probably freeloaders who want those for free, but then when, what happens when they take those test questions and they don't know all the answers? Then he can offer them something that's gonna help them understand and offer more questions and offer, client, uh, you know, offer con consultations and things like that. Okay, so that was a lead magnet. Now we're gonna go about the taste. There's other terms for this. Uh, some call it the Costco model. You know, you go to Costco, you have a sample of something and you're like, oh, what aisle is that in? Those uh, tortillas were awesome. Or, it's also known as the drug dealer model. <laughs> you, dude, you want a little taste? All right. Not, not that I would know like anything about that. <laughs> but what you're doing here is you're offering someone a sample of what you have so that they can see it and want more. So if in your business you have something grandioso that you sell, maybe you can take a piece out of it, a really good piece. A lot of people recommend just taking the best piece out of it and giving that away for free. I can see the gears turning in a lot of your heads. So this is Ramit Sethi's site, I Will Teach You To Be Rich. And he says right here, he gives away actually a lot of things, uh, tools, uh, samples of his book, and actually something about his podcast, I'll show you that, I'll talk about that in, in a second. But he actually says, pick one of these downloads below and see for yourself how good my material is. I mean, he's that straightforward about everything, but he's telling you right here, have some crack. <laughs> and about his podcast here, you know, podcast, it's sort of like a blog, you know, we create content, it's out there for free, but he calls it, something more than just a podcast. I mean, the, he calls it something that you can get for free as if it was something that you would normally pay for. Derek Halpern does this, he calls it his insider class. He doesn't call it a podcast, it's an insider class. So you feel really special like you're getting something for free when you're listening to it. So this is John Tuggle from learningguitarnow.com. And by the way, all these links and things that I'm, I'm sharing with you, uh, if you go to smartpassiveincome.com slash NMX, it'll take you to a resource page with the uh, playlist of the songs I was playing earlier. They all have the word free in it. Uh, and all the links to all these videos, or all these sites and stuff. So John Toggle sells a, a six DVD course on how to play the guitar. He gives away some of his lessons for free. By doing so, people can see what the lessons will be like exactly. And they're gonna enjoy it. They actually learn something while watching it. They can see the style, and if it matches what they are looking for, they're gonna go ahead and, and buy the DVDs. And he does really well. He actually mentions at the bottom here, to learn more, or get my Blues 6 DVD course. Now this is everydaypaleo.com, uh, where you can literally get a taste of something. You can cook using their recipes. But they also sell a book that includes these recipes. So they're giving away a lot of their, what's inside their book for free. Now this book, Everyday Paleo Family Cookbook, is the top 224th book on Amazon. It's like going crazy. So that's just a taste. Next we have something called the Bobber. Now, what is the bobber? Well, for those of you who don't know, a bobber is a flotation device used in fishing to help you uh, help your boat, your bait, float closer to the uh, surface and to help you understand when a fish is on on the line. Now, you don't need a bobber to fish. You don't need a bobber to fish. You don't have to have one, but they're helpful. And when I was little, I used to do a lot of pond fishing. This was actually I lived in Connecticut uh, for the first number of years of my life, and I used to go fishing a lot. I like pond fishing, and there was a couple of tackle shops and bait shops around the area. And there was always one that I was go to because they gave away bobbers for free. I didn't need the bobber, but they were just there. And the bobber by itself is not gonna help me catch fish. 
but I always went there because it was free, and that's where I got all my worms and hooks. So what is the, a bobber is something that's helpful, something like a toolkit or like a calculator, something where people will see instant results because of you and what you have to offer. That's really important, instant results. So let's go over a couple examples. This is Green Exam Academy, my website where I teach people how to pass the lead exam. I gave away something called the semi-blank lead AP exam study guide. It's a study guide that has holes in it. So people can fill in the holes and see really what they know and what they don't. Because it's a very structured exam. You have to memorize exactly how things are. So I took pieces out and just gave them kind of half of it. And so what happened, people downloaded this. I didn't ask for an email or anything. They just download, downloaded this. They could instantly see what they didn't know. And then they can be like, OK, well, how do I get all the rest of this information? At the end, I say, hey, download my book. It's been downloaded 20,000 times. Now, going back to John Toggle at Learning Guitar Now, he has what's called backing tracks. This is, a, an, again, another tool that people can use and see instant results from. A backing track in any sort of uh, instrument playing is a track you can play on the speakers, and then you can kind of solo over it. So he gives away tracks that he has created where people in different keys can solo over them and become better guitar players. So here's one uh, funky blues backing track in C sharp. And at the bottom, there's a little video, another preview of his course right next to his backing track, and then upsells his DVD from there. Now let's go to YouTube and see what one of these videos is doing from. This is just one key out of like 13 keys there are, or whatever. Shuffle Blues, backing track in A. This has been viewed 733,749 times. That's 7,300, no, 70, that's a lot of people who have come to his brand, <laughs> who are now in front of his offer, which is right there, you can see, now YouTube has this ability now where you can actually put something on the screen that clicks out of YouTube. So he sells his course directly from these videos. It's another way for people to connect with him, communicate with him, understand the kind of style that he has to offer, which upsells to his DVD course. And again, like I said, he's doing really, really well. Now this is a really helpful tool. Uh, it's called the Golden Ratio Typography Calculator. And this is by Chris Pearson, who is the owner and creator of the thesis theme, which I, how many of you use thesis? Awesome, me too. So this tool is awesome. <laughs> so what you do is you put the font size that you use on your site and the content width that you have, maybe 500, 600 pixels or whatever, and then you plug those numbers in and then it tells you exactly what the line height should be so that you know, so, so it looks perfect based on the golden ratio and this, it, it just, looks amazing. You can choose the different fonts that you use and it adjusts for you. Now this doesn't directly sell into anything, but what does this tell you about Chris Pearson? Chris Pearson created this, they, and this is ridiculous what he did, but what does that tell you about Chris? It tells you that this guy knows what he's doing when it comes to websites. So if you're going to look for somebody to buy a theme from, and you see something like this or you hear about it, you're probably going to go with someone like Chris, because he obviously knows what he's talking about. So this is more of a sort of reputation type of uh, earning, I guess you could say. And it's very, it's very, very helpful. And he does have a couple links on the lower left-hand side for his personal blog and also for thesis. So now let's talk about access to you. You can actually give away a little bit of yourself. I mean, I, I like to call it moderated accessibility. You, want, you don't want to be too, you don't want to open the doors too much and, and be flooded with emails. I know I open the door maybe a little too much and I get 300 or 400 emails a day. So I apologize if I haven't answered uh, as promptly as, as you would like, but I'm getting there. You can give away a little bit of yourself. And here's how some people do it. Now, have any of you noticed it's been a little bit quieter, this uh, convention than normal? <laughs> it's because Derek Halpern hasn't, isn't here. Like, yo, I'm gonna tell you about the study, <laughs> about the jam. <laughs> Sign up for my list, idiot. No, I love Derek. So what happens when you sign up to his list? He actually sends you an email back. This is through his autoresponder, so it's automated. But he sends you an email back that asks the question, what are you struggling with? And he gets so many amazing responses that can help him create new blog posts, create new videos, new podcasts. But not only that, it kind of lets people in his life a little bit and get instantly connected with him right after they sign up for his email list. It's, it's, it's amazing. I also have a similar tool in my, auto, uh, in my autoresponder. I think it's the fourth or fifth email. I ask, what blog post would you like to, uh, what sort of blog post would you like me to write about? So I have a constant stream of information about what I should be talking about. There's no guessing. It's directly from my target audience. I recommend doing the same thing. 
So this is a uh, webinar by Lewis House. This is another way to provide a little bit of access to yourself. Webinars are fa fantastic because it's live. When people are on there with you, they hear your voice, they maybe even see you, you're teaching them something, they can ask questions. If you go to uh, my podcast list, episode 29 is with Lewis House. He gives some amazing, amazing webinar tips. And webinars are great because it's just the personal connection you make with them. And even though some of your questions might not get answered, it sort of feels like you're there with him. You know, and again, it's just, it's just maybe for an hour, a couple hours with your audience. And what you could do is you could record that using screen, uh, ScreenFlow or Camtasia or something, and then repurpose that and put on your YouTube channel or share it with your email list. And then, you know, always making sure at the end to have some sort of call to action. Or maybe you're just doing a Q&A and you just want to connect with your audience a little bit more. This is a picture of a live stream with Darren Rouse from ProBlogger. And I remember a couple of years ago when I was uh, just getting started, uh, Darren tweeted out, I'm going to be on, on, on uh, Ustream. And then I checked it out and he was there. And he was just chatting with everybody. He was just calling people by name, you know, hey, what, like, what's the weather like in Michigan or whatever. And I remember he, uh, I asked the question, um, oh gosh, what was that question? Uh, something about uh, Brisbane because I went to Australia a few years before that. And he answered my question. And I was like, oh my gosh, Darren Rouse talked to me. Like, it's so <laughs> cool. It was so awesome. And it just made me connect with him even deeper. And, and, you know, I bought his material, kept reading his blog, and so on and so forth. So the last one I want to talk about is called the full frontal. <laughs> it's a scary thing to give everything away for free. But what this does is it turns heads. You're just letting everything go. <laughs> Have you ever done this, like, have you ever flipped through a digital camera and just go back and forth, like, uh. <laughs> I love doing that with my kids' pictures, like, mm -hmm. So the full, well, the full frontal is giving something away without asking for anything in return up front and just providing massive, ridiculous value. And you're going to see what just, uh, just what I mean in a second. So this is uh, Cliff Ravenscraft's resource on how to create a podcast from scratch. No email required. It's just a free resource. You can actually go to learnhowtopodcast.com. And check this out, like, check out how long this page is. There's eight videos here that walk you step by step how to create a podcast. But he also sells a course that teaches the exact same thing. And this course is like 899, 900. Are any of you in Cliff's course? Awesome. It has a 100% success rate. What kind of product has that? Amazing. But point is, you know, actually, I, I was curious. I, I, uh, Cliff is in a mastermind group with, with me. Uh, we meet on Wednesdays on, uh, on GoToMeeting. And he was coming out with this, with the Learning How to Podcast 101 and all the video series, the video series. And, and he was like, hmm, how much should, should I charge for this, Pat? And, and like, 97 bucks, you know, 149. I was like, just give it away. He was like, what? Like just, I was like, just give it away, because he's always, he was also coming out with the premium course. So he, he had his like little mini teaser course, and then the premium course where you can get consultation and, and work with him one-on-one -on -one and things like that. So what happened? The free series has been viewed 24,000 times. And in his course, I asked him, well, how many people do you know of that are a part of your course now who paid that much money? How many of them came from watching a free video? 40%. Ridiculous. So here's another example of a full frontal. Jeff Varsano's Pizza. Anyone know Jeff Varsano's Pizza? It is the, it's the best tasting pizza in the world, apparently. And how do I know? Because he created this free resource about how to make the best pizza in the world. Because of this post that you're about to see, I'm going to scroll down on the page and you'll see. Because of this, because he revealed everything about how to make a pizza, he got on the Rachel Ray Show. Everyone's packing into his restaurant in Atlanta. So check this out. He has a resource. It, it, I mean, it's like, a, again, another 1990s like GeoCities website. <laughs> but he talks about thermodynamics, the temperature of the room, the temperature of the water, different kinds of flour, I don't, terms I don't even know. Like, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. So we're, we're just at the dough. We haven't even got to the sauce or the cheese yet or the temperature or anything. This is, it's 22,000 words. It's been viewed 1.5 million times. It's the most visited pizza page on, on, the, on the internet. And now, he's an expert to all of us. So the last example I want to give you is my niche site duel. 
a lot of people, uh, a lot of you know about this. What I did was for free, I, I shared exactly how I created a website from scratch, found the niche, added the content, got to number one in Google, started making a couple thousand dollars a month, all for free. You go down here, you see there's a number of different posts. I should stop putting that in my pocket. There's a number of different posts, just all out there for free. So what happened as a result of this? I mean, amazing things happened as a, as, a, as a result of this. A lot of people found me because this was shared so many times. Shareability, like I talked about earlier. It's the number one most visited page on my site. In two years, it has helped me earn over $300,000, all because I gave away this for free. Now, how did I actually earn from this? It's because I inserted opportunities to pay me back. My particular method was through affiliate marketing. So in there, when people were going through this process, they would need hosting and other sorts of things if they wanted to try it out. And you know, they only they wanted to make sure they went through me because they wanted to pay me back for all this free information, the full frontal that I was giving them. But most importantly, what happened as a result of giving this away for free was all the thank yous. Every week I go to my UPS box, I get three or four handwritten letters from people that just said thank you for not putting up a price barrier by letting me test this out, by showing me the way, by just giving it all away for free. But again, keeping in mind that I am giving it away for free, but I'm also giving them opportunities to pay me back. So it comes back full circle. Now, and Dan's like, what? <laughs> so what I want to do, is, you know, again, this, this presentation so far hasn't really been like implementation stuff. It's more mindset, you know, the power of free. And I hope you kind of understand and are kind of like jazzed about, you know, what really can I offer my audience for free based on those five different examples. And again, you can go to smartpassiveincome.com slash NMX to kind of see what those uh, examples are like so you can kind of see what would uh, kind of jive with whatever it is you have to offer. But what I want to do now is actually want to do a couple like live implementations of how we can figure out how to, um, how to use this free stuff. Right, so I want to go through one example. Uh, Dan Geesling, can you raise your hand, Dan? What's up, dude? Uh, Dan won the Big Brother reality show, actually, in 2008, so congratulations. Uh, and he was kind enough um, to, I mean, he's been so supportive of me, actually. He got back on the show in 2012, and he, like, you know, because Big Brother, they have a live feed and everything. He would always, like, shout out, smart passive income, like, so cool. <laughs> like, I would get tweets from random people, like, Dan Geesling mentioned you in the house, and I was like, a house? Like, what? So what I'm, I want to give something back to you, again, reciprocation for all that. And I want to help you out a little bit. And I asked him earlier if this was OK, and he said, yeah. So I want to go through his site a little bit. So this is his site. He actually has a book about how to get on reality TV. And he shares his story about how that happened. And I think that's awesome because just amazing things have happened to, to him and, and his family because of this. Now, he does offer something for free already that kind of is an upsell to that book. And that is a sample of the book. Right? You, get a, you enter your email address, you get a little bit of the book, and you kind of get a taste, right? And then if you like it, you can go and purchase the book. And you are making sales, correct? Awesome. Yes, he is. Now, I'm going to help you out a little bit. And again, this, the reason I'm doing this live now, and I actually want to do this for two of you out there who have businesses already who are maybe thinking about you know, implementing something for free and need a little bit of help, it's not an exact process. I mean, like I said earlier, this is like a really hard thing to do, to figure out exactly what you should be giving away for free. But I think if we do a couple examples, you can kind of run through the same exercise with you and your own brand and we can kind of figure it out. Okay. So Dan here has this free preview, uh, which is a lead magnet for his book. And that's great. You know, you're building an email list. There's a couple things you could do. I mean, Dan, you are a TV personality. People know you because they watch you live on TV. I think you should give a little bit of access to yourself. Maybe, I mean, not too much, but just to get people in that same feeling like they were watching you on, on, on Big Brother, you know, seeing you, the real you maybe doing a webinar, maybe once a month, or even just once. Have a whole bunch of people on, email your list. If you had a little bit of income, you could do some Facebook ads or something. Get all those people in that, into that webinar. Just have a chat and just get people interested in what you have to say. Record it, of course. And then at the end, you drop your book. Maybe for those people specifically, you do a little bit of a discount. Like, hey, thank you for coming on. Here's a coupon code for 10% off or something for you. And then put that webinar after you record it back on your site. And that would be something awesome. Another thing I was thinking about is, uh, I don't even know if you're allowed to do this, but you have audition tapes. I would love to see an audition tape. How awesome would an audition tape be for a lead magnet? You would want to see that. And then I can read your story after I'm really interested in how everything happened. 
Now, full frontal, I don't know if there's anything you could do there. You could possibly give away exactly the step-by-step -step how people might be able to get on reality TV. That's another option. I don't know of any sort of checklist or anything. Maybe that would be some sort of a bobber, like a 10-point checklist. Or maybe the, maybe the bobber is, uh, you know, again, the useful tool that people can use right away to see instant results. Maybe it's uh, a list of everything people should include in their audition tapes. Give them the best chance to, uh, to get selected, which I know you know how to do. Does that help? Cool. Okay, so you, you see how we have to kind of figure it out, right? So do, do I have a couple of volunteers? Um, okay, I saw a hand up there. I want you to have, uh, it, it, before you uh, come up, I want you to understand that, you know, you need to have some sort of business model already. I think it's really important to have that in place already, have a way for people to pay you back. We're just implementing something for free to make things happen better. So I, I saw a hand in the back. Would you like to come up to the mic? And then we have one other person. All right, right here, Tom. John, <laughs> I didn't even know that was you. <laughs> John Dumas from Entrepreneur on Fire, everybody. How's it going, man? Good, thanks. Okay, so, actually, do you, let me see if I can get my, test one. All right, we'll just use the mic here. So, John, uh, what is your business? I run a podcast, Entrepreneur on Fire. Okay, awesome. Uh, who is your target audience? My avatar is really a 25 to 45 year old corporate person that's driving to work every day exercising. Okay. Now what makes you unique? What is your unique selling proposition? It's a, it's a daily podcast, so it comes out every single day with a new and inspiring entrepreneur telling their journey. Okay, and what do, what do you have to offer? Uh, how, how are you monetizing if you are? Not really monetizing at this point. I have some sponsorships that I sell, and I do uh, affiliates through my resource page, but it's very, I just started three and a half months ago, so I'm at the very beginning base point right now, so I don't really have much going on. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So you've done how many interviews with people so far? I have 81, 82 live as of today, but I've done 140. Wow. That's, and you just started when? <laughs> Um, well, I started building my platform at the last New Media Expo, so I started talking to people, getting interviewees, but I actually launched September 20th. Awesome, that's great. Now, you must have picked up some great information from all of those interviews. Some really good tidbits that might be able to help people that are also in your target audience. Now, what I think you should do is you should take the best clips from each of the podcasts maybe somehow categorize them into something special and create a video course that would help people kind of filter through everything that you have to offer and just get the best stuff. And what that does is that becomes something that's shareable. It becomes, it helps you become even more of an expert because you're not just the interview, you're actually taking this information in and then putting it back out there in a way that's more easily digestible. Because I know those interviews are long, we've done one together actually, uh, and, and it was a great interview. But you could either do like a free report or actually I think a video, I mean I think video is the best way to go now with anything. Um, and that could either be an opt-in. Like hey, thank you for listening to the podcast. Uh, you can go to uh, entrepreneuronfire.com slash uh, tips or whatever. And there you can sign up for my email list where you'll get the best information from all the interviews I've done. Or maybe just a few, you know, maybe the top 10 or something like that. And that way you can build your list even more. And then I don't know if you have any monetization plans in the future, but you know, I know for sponsorships, I mean, that, just say you have an email list that's big is, is huge. So I think, uh, I think that might be a good solution. Right. What do you think? I think we'll be ready in one week, so everybody, get ready. <laughs> so uh, John, thank you for volunteering. I have a free iPod Nano for you. Um, so another strategy. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks, man. So another strategy with free, you know, even after the fact, after they've gone through your free stuff, if they've interacted with you, if, if, if uh, they are, you know, part of your brand already, just out of nowhere, out of the blue, just surprising people. I mean, that makes such a huge impact. And yes, I can't duplicate the iPod Nano. I'd probably get sued or whatever. But just the fact that everybody was here watching that transaction, that makes things awesome. <laughs> Sorry. That just puts me in more of an authority stage and um, 
you know, obviously, I mean, people are clapping. So, Tom, would you like to come up? Sure. I have another iPod Nano for you, actually. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so Tom, um, what is your website and what do you do? So I'm rightmixmarketing.com and I'm a social media consultant. So I kind of have two businesses. One is social media consulting for small and medium businesses. And the second is helping basically solopreneurs and small businesses with online courses. Okay, I see. What is, what's your most popular content right now? Um, actually, some of my most popular content is content that I, I blog about live events like this. So I blogged about Scott Monty, and I get a lot of uh, traffic and interest for content like that and also educational content like how-tos and tips and, and resources. Are you building an email list? Yes. Are you using a lead magnet? Uh, yes. Okay. Great. What is your lead magnet? So that's probably where I can align things a little bit better because I have several lead magnets and I probably need to fix a line on one because I have a um, kind of a blogging starter kit uh, ebook thing. I have a webinar starter kit and sometimes I use videos. Okay, so what you could do there if you have actually have a lot of tools, um, you know, you don't want to give people the option to sign up for, for each of them because you know, the more options people have, the less likely they are to take action. That's kind of the, a known thing in marketing. But what you could do is something like what uh, Corbett Barr does on thinktraffic.net. He has what's called a toolkit. So you get access to, a, to almost like a membership site for free when they provide their email list. So instead of providing your email for, uh, for one of those things specifically, it's a whole toolkit, toolkit of everything that could possibly help them for uh, live events. Now, another thing I was thinking of is, you know, so, so you know a lot about actually putting on a live event and things like that. Yeah, yeah. And would you? Is who is your target audience exactly? Like, like who are who are they? So there's two audiences. One is actually small and medium businesses, like you know, real business owners, like uh, work with wineries, restaurant groups, architects, uh, lawyers, those kind of companies offline, and help them get their social media camp, uh, social media started, and I. I basically teach them as well as do it for them so that they actually can learn to do. Then the second one is online solopreneurs and small business owners who want to do it more themselves. And so they want to. I got an idea. Okay, so what you could do is because you're helping those small businesses, that what I would actually do is uh, do like a, a video chat or, or go to meeting type thing and record it with one that you're actually going to help out. And you're going to say, you know, I'm going to help you out for free in exchange, you know, can I record this and, and you know, repurpose it. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the Derek Halpern strategy, which is you know kind of how he got popular. You know he started doing these site reviews for really popular people who had audiences, and maybe you would hook up with someone who you knew had connections with other small businesses that would be helpful. Uh, that would help you out if, uh, for example, you did a good job. They'd be like, oh well, you got to use Tom, right? And so, or you got to go to Tom's site and buy whatever it is you have to offer. So what Derek did is he went around to my site, to uh, Chris Brogan's site, um, and a bunch of other sites. And he did these really detailed video uh, critiques. And it just demonstrated his expertise. Like, like, I was like, I was blown away when he critiqued my site. And everyone who was watching could understand that Derek was the guy when it came to conversions. So what you could do is you could do that and demonstrate your expertise with one of those specific small businesses. And, uh, and, and then use that and repurpose that and give that sort of case study away for free. So to give people a taste of kind of what you have to offer. I love that. That's a great idea. I mean, I've been thinking about how can I translate those discussions I have with small businesses into a broader thing. You know, do I package it by writing it up into blog posts? But I think that's a great idea. Maybe I'll send out to my list or, or talk to people in my community and say, hey, I'll do this free consultation if, if I can record it and then I can pick the best ones and then give that away. That's perfect. Right. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Love it. Here you go, Tom. Okay, so I don't even know what time it is. How are we doing on time? 12.45, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go to general Q&A. Again, I would love to help you out. I would love to help you out and do the same thing like I did for Tom and John there. Um, I just love doing this stuff, you know? And again, I hope you can see that it's not, it's not a step-by-step -step thing. This, this is why this particular presentation was a little difficult for me because I am so used to doing st really detailed step-by-step -step stuff, less so the concepts and trying to put everything together. But, you know, I hope you can understand the power of free and I demonstrated it and showed you how other people are killing it with free and how you could possibly kill it too. You just kind of have to massage a little bit your brain and just brainstorm, you know, use a mind map and sort of figure out, you know, g give yourself all the options, put everything on paper of what you could possibly give away for free and maybe one of those things, uh, you know, everything down, like nothing, there's no stupid answers and then one might pop out at you or show it to your mastermind group or show it to, so show it to your audience. Some of them might just tell you exactly what they would like and what would help you build a bigger, uh, deeper connection with them. 
Thank you everybody so much for your support. I love you all.